For years now, astronomers have been looking at the sky to try and find dark energy, energy that mathematically should exist, but we're not sure how to detect or where to find. To detect the undetectable, scientists build increasingly sensitive telescopes, and they point them at the sky to do a survey, and one of those had an unexpected side effect. The Milky Way has billions of stars. The Dark Energy Survey just uncovered a bunch of them weren't born here. Instead, they migrated to our shores and are now living their lives as productive members of our galactic society. We know this because in the hunt for dark energy, the Dark Energy Survey, which is such a clever name, good work, guys, they imaged these. See those dim paths? Those are called stellar streams. They're little paths migratory stars took when coming to our galaxy. I know, we're looking at the galactic versions of Ellis and Angel Islands. Stellar streams are formed when smaller, dimmer galaxies wander too close to the Milky Way. The collective gravity of the two galaxies cause little tendrils of stars on the outskirts of the passing galaxy to reach out. Once the tendrils of the Milky Way and the passing galaxy meet, stars start to flow into the Milky Way's gravitational field and they form halos. We've known about the stellar streams for a while, but to see them is pretty incredible. Stars are commonly formed in regions of dense gas and dust. When this cosmic detritus gets dense enough, its collective gravity collapses on itself and forms a baby star. As we've covered on Seeker before, astronomers are just learning about the family tree of stars based on where they're from and what elements are inside them. These stellar nurseries exist all over the Milky Way, and it's where most of our stars, including the Sun, were born. But there are billions of other galaxies out there of all shapes and sizes, each with their own stellar nurseries. These stellar streams may alter the border regions of the Milky Way, bringing stars with different combinations of elements or other unknown benefits. The next dark energy survey is slated to start in the early 2020s, and will be even more sensitive, looking even harder at our sky. I wonder what they'll find. Special thanks to Domain.com for sponsoring this episode of Seeker. Domain.com is awesome, affordable, reliable, and has all the tools you need to build a new website. They have over 300 domain extensions to fit your needs, from .club to .space to .pizza. Take that first step in creating an identity online and visit Domain.com. What do you guys think of dark energy? Is it worth finding and looking into? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you watch this video for more information about it. And thanks so much for watching Seeker.